Bernie from Stamp Elite and welcome so much to another Friday, Friday card making session with me. I thought I would quickly just um, show my face. I've got a couple of exciting things to tell you before I head over to my craft table. The first is the clearance sale is now on for all the retired products in the annual catalog for 2021-2022. So I will be dropping the link for that um, below in the description. So be sure to go and have a look. If there's anything that you've been eyeing for the last year in the annual catalog, then now is the time to go and get it. And they have discounted those items up to 50%. Not everyone, but some of them are a really good bargain to buy. The second thing is that's really exciting is that I have been asked to run a second retreat, a second stamp and eat retreat for 2022. As you may recall, if you have been following me for a while, I ran a retreat at the end of November, which was incredibly successful and so many people absolutely loved being on it. So I am running another retreat and that will be from the 27th to the 29th of May. I am finalizing the day prices for visitors and then I will be releasing the booking. There is only, well I should put this better, there are only 15 places available and it really is a question of first and best dressed. So this time I am requiring a deposit to secure your place. So please make sure if you want to have a weekend of stamping and eating and resting and making new friends and you live in the, or anywhere in New Zealand for that matter, then you need to book your space um, as soon as those tickets become available. So without further ado, let me take you over to my desk for today. I'm going to be showing you a very interesting technique that I love to use to fill up some negative space. So I'm not going to be doing a card from woe to go, but I'm going to be showing you how I fill space using my favorite, favorite embellishment, and that is ribbon. All right, so let's go over. So in this video, I want to show you um, how I create these little swirly bits using my twine or using gold trim or even the silver trim um, or you can even do it with ribbon. But it does work better using it with twine. Now, I first saw this concept um, Sam Poodles was the one that, um, who's, it's actually known as a Poodles scribble or something like that. Um, but I love the way it just fills in a space on your card that you feel like you need to add something, but you, you don't want to put ribbon, but it needs something. So I want to show you how you do it. It is so, so simple. And then I'll show you two other card designs where I used the similar concept. And if you're eyeballing this um, butterfly, this is using the Butterfly Brilliance die that is continuing on to the annual catalog. And I just used my water painters and a re-inker. And this was um, evergreen, evening evergreen. And I just put a little bit of um, Wink Costello on there and cut it out. So you can create your own butterfly. And the background is from the Plentiful Plants Designer Series paper, which is retiring at the end of April. And these little doilies is actually from the Home and Heart doilies. And they come in um, three different colors. But on the reverse side, you can just flip them over and make them show the negative, the white. So for, the, um, for this video, I'm just going to use black cardstock you're going to need some or other type of adhesive I like to use my tear and tape and I'm going to just for the purpose of this demonstration I'm just going to go in a little bit closer for you guys so you're going to need to center your tear and tape and you don't need a lot you'll need a tiny strip so just that much will do 
place it in the middle of the area that you are wanting to create the whirly swirlies and then you need to I usually use my um, take your pick tool or something sharp but that's fine so now you can see there's some tape take whatever um and whatever ribbon or trim you are going to use in this case i'm just going to use some silver because it demonstrates really well against the black i literally put the spool down on the ground so that the the orientation of the spool can determine the way i start so i put that amount i just stick it down and then I can see it's going to automatically turn there. So I bring it around. Then I'm having a look again here, which way it's going to turn. And it's looking like it's going to go, oops, this one's, which way is this one going? It's going this way. You really do need to see how it goes so that you know, okay, it's orientating that way. So then I'm going to stick it like stick it like that okay does need a bit of force once again i'm bringing it around it looks like this one actually wants to go around that way again a second time so i'm going to bring it around let's have a look you just need to let it do its thing it's almost intuitive and yet not so I'm going to go here on this one and so that's where it is there and this last piece I'm just going to manipulate it a bit because I want it to go around and it goes like that and then you just you might want to bring a last one here it almost feels like it needs a third one coming through at the end here so oh that one's come undone do make sure when you glue the, um when you stick it down that you're sticking it onto that tear and tape okay so it looks quite messy it does look messy but if i bring my doily over that and of course you're going to also know like that doily is going to be hopelessly too big but if i was to bring something smaller in there for argument's sake or even that butterfly over there then you're still going to get the idea i'll just bring that up to the camera so whatever it is that you're going to be putting on top make sure your loops are sufficiently covering that negative space okay i hope that makes sense so really it is a piece of two-way tape whatever trim whatever you're using and you just direct the trim accordingly so let me show you what I used um, doing a similar idea so this was my anniversary card for my husband as you can see there I just used the white baker's twine and I covered up that area where they come together with little hearts that I had already had in the excess from the masking that I did and then this card is a card I'm actually going to be teaching on retreat. And as you can see there, I've brought the gold twine in there. And it has two loops on that side and two loops on that side. And the butterfly is what is securing it where it comes together. So that's a very, very simple way to um, get use twine to fill up that negative space. And it's a very easy way to use leftovers as well if you've got a little bit of leftover twine and you don't know what to do with it. So that's me today. Very short and sweet, but I wanted to show you how you can achieve that effect using what you have available on hand. And it does create a very beautiful look to your card. And all the information, of course, will be down below on the drop down box. Please do remember, if you haven't already subscribed to my newsletter with Effect from the 1st of April, so coming up the 1st of April, I will be making, um, providing my newsletter subscribers with exclusive 
um, access to my color inspiration design cards I will only be putting half of those up on the um, my blog that is almost finished I have had a momentous week this week finishing um, creating finishing up my blog and I'm expecting that to go live on the 1st of April so all my projects are still available on my project um, if you're not yet following me on Facebook do do that and Instagram and Pinterest and as I mentioned already please subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't already and you will receive exclusive access to um, well you'll first also get first access to booking for retreats but you'll also get exclusive access to um, tutorials for my color inspiration design cards so thank you so much for being with me this Friday it's been awesome being with you I hope that this will just take your cards up to the next level and remember until we meet again stamp eat sleep repeat bye